Hello students. So this is the video to discuss an important part of uh, IELTS examination which is the writing module and in writing module the second task which is essay writing. As you can see here we are going to discuss writing task 2 essay and the type of essay that we are covering in this video is reason solution. It is a very important question type which generally comes in the exam. In here you have to give reasons and solution for a particular topic that has been asked. So here our question type for today is Many offenders commit more crimes after serving the first imprisonment. Why is this happening and what measures can be taken to tackle this problem? So uh, the question says there are offenders which recommit or reoffend the same crimes or some other crimes even after they have served their first sentence or first imprisonment after serving the first imprisonment once they come out of the jail or from the prison they again resort to the same crime world so the requirement of the question is why is this happening that means we have to give reasons for this and what measures can be taken to tackle this problem means we have to give solutions to curb those reasons first of all we will talk about some rules for this particular essay type in this essay, we can write four to five paragraphs. It is not that we, are, we have to stick to four or it is compulsory that we need to write five. It's according to our content and according to our word limit, which is the oral word limit is 250 to 300 words. So we have to be very careful about the word limit. So we can write four or we can write five paragraphs here. And what type of paragraphs are they? First is the intro paragraph. Then your body paragraphs can be two or three depending upon what structure you have thought for the essay. And last is the conclusion part. Talking about the first uh, paragraph which is the introduction. Here I have written certain rules which you have to follow or I should say you should follow to get good marks for your introduction paragraph. These rules will go for all uh, essay types you can follow the same rules for writing introduction of different um, essay questions for example discussion essays uh, opinion essays and others advantage disadvantage and any uh, for all the five types the same rules can work uh, especially for students who are aiming for seven or above seven for them it is really important to follow three steps the first step is general statement or a general start so what do you mean by a general statement or a general start? Why uh, if we talk about IELTS general exam? So just pause for a second and ponder that why the exam has been termed as IELTS general and why not anything else? It's because it, it has a meaning. We just think okay I am appearing for IELTS general. Did you ever think that why IELTS general is the name? It actually has some meaning because they want you to answer as a general human being or a general person having some logics and reasons in the living in the society will have so they want your opinion as a general human being as a logical human being so that is why it is very important if you give a general statement in the starting of your essay that means you can link your essay to something in general something which is happening in the society something which is happening around us so that will give an impress you can say an impressing start to your essay uh, for example for this kind of this particular topic if I write that in this contemporary era repeat offending now they mentioned that they are commit more crimes after serving a sentence so what I have written is repeat offending has become a matter of grave concern grave concern the word grave is used for very serious so again our cab word a grave concern for the security authorities or security organizations as well as for the society as well as for the whole nation as well as at the global level you can mention anything so the idea is to give a good start to relate the topic to something around us so that will give you a boost in your essay so this is one example that how a general statement can be written. After that, you should go to step two, which says restate the question. Now, why we are restating the question is if someone has not read the question and is reading your answer straight away, 
should get the idea of the question right from the very first paragraph which is the introduction paragraph. If someone is reading the introduction and does not get an idea of what the question was, what was the requirement of the question, that means your introduction is not complete, is incomplete in one or the other respect. So it is very important to restate the question but obviously with different words with synonyms, not the exact words which they have used. So what I have written is, after serving the first sentence, it has become a common scenario to see criminals re-offending. So it is conveying the same meaning which the question was conveying but definitely in a different way. That after serving the first sentence, it has become quite common to see criminals re-offending or we can write to see criminals indulging in more crimes, more criminal activities, more um, unethical deeds, more immoral deeds. There are lots of synonyms that we need to use. And step three is the thesis, which is again very important. If you are not conveying what are you going to write in the essay, it will be a, quite a confusion. While a person is going through your essay, he or she is not able to make out like why are you writing it or what are you writing unless and until that person has read the whole essay. So that is not the right way to do it. Write in your first paragraph, write in your introduction paragraph. You need to mention that what is my opinion? Am I on this side or that side? If it is agree or disagree. Uh, if you are discussing both the views and then you will be giving your opinion. Again here it is why is this happening so you need to write that in this essay I am going to discuss the reasons behind, the incre behind this increasing problem that you are mentioning the reasons and also put forward certain measures which can be implemented to curb this menace. So here some of the vocab words because one of the criteria of marking as we have discussed in our previous video is 25% goes to your lexical resources. So we have to keep each and every of the marking criteria in our mind while we are writing an essay. So this is the way to write introduction for essay types. If you are following all these three steps, your introduction will definitely be complete in all respects. Or although we have to try as many complex sentences as we can write, right, uh, like here, I could have written that it has become a common scenario to see criminals reoffending, but I just twisted the sentence to give it a complex nature. Uh, moving further, after introduction, it comes body paragraph one. So, as the first requirement is to write the reason, so we will be writing our reasons in body paragraph one. But there are again certain rules which are to be followed for writing body paragraphs. The rules for body paragraphs is first, in the first sentence, you have to mention your idea. That is you to present what, what is the first reason. Then explain, which according to their uh, language, they say present, extend and support. So in, in basic language, it means first, in the first sentence, you have to mention your idea. In the second sentence, you have to explain your idea and in the third sentence, you have to support your idea and support means you have to give an example or a fact that can actually support to what you have said. Taking an example for this particular essay, I have written lack of rehabilitation during the period of imprisonment is I believe one of the major reasons for the first time offenders to recommit crimes once released. So now keeping in view the different marking criteria, first is that we have to give a reason. So my reason is lack of rehabilitation during the period of imprisonment. Now because um, we are focusing on 7, 7 plus and general students in this particular video. So it is very important for general students to include yourself in the essay. So I have written, I believe. And moreover, one of the marking criteria is to provide grammatical range and accuracy. So grammatical range means you have to use a wide number of complex sentences in your essay. So here goes one first complex sentence for the body paragraph. 
one of the major reasons for the first time offenders to recommit crime comma once released so if you're writing this way your complex sentence structure requirement would definitely be completed now this is that i have presented my uh, reason next was to explain now why do you feel that lack of rehabilitation is the reason whichever idea you are writing in the uh, very next sentence you have to give answer to why or how whichever is suitable according to the question so here you say that lack of rehabilitation is one reason why do you think so so for explanation there are certain connectors like here i can i have written in other words apart from this you can mention to elaborate further to um, to justify so these are the words which connectors which are used to explain your idea so i have written in other words comma conventional prison environment conventional means old or the long going on conventional prison environment lacks opportunities to learn any new skills so why i mean uh, what i mean by lack of rehabilitation is when a person is in the imprisonment he or she completely has no opportunities to learn anything new um lacks opportunities to learn any new skills and instead comma strengthens the criminal intentions by being with like minded people and furthermore the same conventional prison environment it strengthens the criminal intentions because you are with so many criminals and throughout the day you have nothing to do so a criminal mind with another criminal mind will definitely think of something related to crime again so if a person in the prison is provided with opportunities to learn or it's uh, he or she is busy doing some useful um, things or activities there is a possibility that the vision the perspective of that person changes towards society and towards himself you can also mention at the reason that there is lack of rehabilitation and counseling that during the period of imprisonment there should be some counseling sessions by some trained professionals which can help to know why the the background history of the individual uh, analyzing why the person indulged into crime and explaining to him or her that this is not beneficial for neither for him nor for the society that he is living in so there can be multiple reasons that you can think of but the idea is in the first sentence you have to give your idea in the next sentence you have to explain your idea and after that comes the third part to support that is to provide an example so now you have to think of an example that why do you feel so there are three types of examples which are allowed in essay writing the first is personal example second is survey example and third is real life incidents so personal example can be related to yourself your family your surroundings and then survey example if i give an example over here we can write that um crime bureau of investigation uh, australia conducted a survey on criminals which reported that um 55 or 60 any percentage of criminals um did not have any improvement in their mindset when they are released from the prison and they say that um it's it's just a normal thing for them to stay in prison for some time and then come back again to their normal routine and recommitting the crimes examples like these will actually support your idea that whatever you are saying in your um explanation has actually happened in the society or in the real life environment so that means supporting your idea so this is how the first paragraph will be concluded i hope the points that you have to keep in mind are clear i'll just repeat it for the intro part the first step is to write a general statement something related to the topic in general second is to restate the question in your own words using synonyms but conveying the same meaning and then third is thesis that you have to give right at the beginning of the essay that what are you going to say in the essay throughout after that comes body paragraph body paragraph you have to be very careful that you have to follow three things you have to present your idea then you have to explain that is extend your idea 
Third, you have to support that is given example to your idea. And apart from that, you have to keep in mind synonyms like we have used recommit, repeat offending. Um, for imprisonment, we have used we can use prison uh, after serving their first sentence. So these are some of the words you have to be aware of. What connectors are to be used when you are going to explain like here we have used in other words you can include to elaborate further to justify and you have to learn the skill of uh, writing complex sentences like we have done here. Now we will be going on to body paragraph 